And now here's Father Joseph with Fruit of the Earth. I'm standing in front of one of my favorite plants that I like to grow here in my garden, Egyptian spinach. Probably most of you have never heard of it. It's something that's very popular in Asia and it's called Egyptian spinach because it's believed that actually it was grown in Egypt. It loves the heat and that Cleopatra uh, is said to have liked this type of spinach and that the Egyptian king when he was ill made a soup of this and it brought him back and restored him to health. And you can understand why when it's been looked at as a nutritional value, it's much higher than just regular spinach. It's much higher in vitamins E, C, potassium, and iron, the B vitamins, calcium, uh, beta carotene. And you just pluck the leaves off of here, so they're very easy to pick. And it's a very mild flavor. And so I'll pick a bowl full of uh, these fresh leaves and then I'll take them and I'll make a nice green smoothie out of it, perhaps with some of those fresh figs uh, when those are in season as well. It's just delicious and so nutritional and uh, something that really helps my own physical health, I believe. You know, in the uh, prophet Amos, at the end of his prophecies, which is chapter 9, the last two verses, Amos had prophesied that Israel was going to be taken away, that they were going to be dispersed. But at the end, he gives a promise of restoration, that they are going to be restored. And when they are restored, they are to plant vineyards and drink wine. They are to make gardens and eat of the fruits. Now, perhaps you haven't taken good care of your own health. Well, this is something where you want to restore your health by eating those things that your body really needs to be nutritionally fed and it can flourish. And gradually you're going to find that things will improve. You know, there are health problems that even the best nutrition is not going to alleviate, but there are many things that will be alleviated. But even more so, perhaps you haven't taken care of your soul. And maybe that needs that restoration that God wants to give it too, so that your soul can flourish. So maybe you haven't been to confession for a long time and you want to unburden the weight that weighs upon you so that God can restore you to grace, which is the most important thing and the thing that lasts eternally. And to remain in a spiritual life, spending time in prayer every day, having that time that's for God every day. And what you're going to find is he's going to con continue his work of restoration. He's going to free you from those burdens of the past, those sins of the past, and he's going to bring you that new life of grace, and it's going to increase in you, and it's going to lead you to that life everlasting. It's going to restore your joy, your peace, that deep peace that we long for. So let's trust in God who wants to restore our physical health as much as we're able through these good practices, but even more so our spiritual health.